Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Ellen. So I'm back at it with a large abstract again. We are going to do some lifting. That's a technique that I love with an abstract. We're going to paint this wonderful abstract kind of sailboat scene. Just painting on color and then lifting the color. This is a technique you can use for all kinds of things in your watercolor journey. It helps with any kind of like painting that you're working on if you need to lift up a color or you want to lift it up for effect. This is a lifting for effect. So you have this abstract sailboat. You can turn it into anything else like seashells or whatnot. I'm just giving you ideas and techniques at the same time. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. Let me know your thoughts. Are you, are you enjoying this abstract series that I'm kind of working on? Um, if you're not, if you're frustrated or you're having difficulty, please, please put a comment below and tell me what, you, what you're frustrated by or what you'd like to see. Also check out my Patreon. I have ad free videos, traceables, exclusive tutorials, and a live stream in the top tier. It's just a place people go and support my channel, which I super appreciate. I also have a Facebook group where I do uh, monthly, monthly challenges and weekly challenges and monthly giveaways. And uh, Patreons get first dibs on watercolor workshops and retreats, you know, before the public, before it goes out to the public. So a kind of great little bonus for Patreon members. And you can check out all that information in the link below in my description box where you click the word show more. So without further ado, please also don't forget to hit that bell notification button to know when tutorials up and subscribe. <laughs> Let's get lifting and painting with watercolor. All right, so before we begin, I'm going to go over some supplies. Um, I have my block that's 12 by 18 inches by Fabiano, it's cold press. I have like a nice little palette here. I've got cobalt blue, uh, Prussian blue, ultramarine, this uh, paints gray and indigo blue. I'll be playing around with some big flat wash brushes and some smaller ones. Um, I might go in and grab some, yeah, I'm gonna be using some smaller brushes to lift paint. I have a flat wash brush that's three fourths inch. Um, so the, the idea was to paint some like really kind of coastal abstract and let's see where it goes. I had an idea to kind of do some like lifting and and create a, kind of like a sailboat. I did a sailboat abstract a couple years ago or a few years ago and I want to play around with that again. So I'm going to grab my big brush, just grab some, loosen up some cobalt here with my number two. Excuse me, number two, two inch craft wash brush. Get some, this is the Prussian blue. Get that loosened. So I'm just gonna start playing. Just gonna start putting in pavement, cobalt, Prussian blue. Just gonna play right now. We'll see where the wind blows. See where the wind blows and takes us. I have indigo down here, which is like real intense. And there's that paint's gray. And I'm just gonna take my brush and just play with the paper. This is what it's all about. <laughs> blues upon blues. We can get like really wet and just kind of play with moving the paper by tilting it. I'm adding lots of water here. Going in and adding some ultramarine blue. Uh, this is a paint's gray like I was talking about. Indigo is down here. All this fun stuff. And then we'll remove paint with paper towels. We could even splatter in some like wash, but I get some really thick paint in here. Really big pigments. Just doing some strokes here, going across. This is the idea. It's supposed to play with your color. Now these are all just blues. Blues of the world. And I'm gonna actually add more water. I'm really loosening up. Tap it on the paper towel over here. You can't see because it it's such a big piece of paper. I'm trying to get everything in here. Tap it, tap it. Is that wonderful? Oh, I didn't want Prussian blue. I wanted more ultramarine blue. That's over here. I'm going to put some stuff down here. All right, now I'm just going to start to move paint around. See, I'm just twisting my brush, moving it around. It's soaking into the paper now. You can play with like scarring the paper with a credit card. I mean, that could be kind of fun. Let's see, where's my credit card? Scraping it. So it's very, very wet. 
and like a puddle. I'm going to start to like lift some of it. Got some scraping going on. You can actually add some really thick paint. There's the paint spray and the indigo. Indigo. And ultramarine blue. Just letting it start. You can sit there and let it soak in a little bit. There's all these different blues. This one is more gray. This is a blue on blue. <laughs> now you can take a paper towel and you can start to like twist it. Start to get that kind of fun energy happening here. Removing like a super amount of thick paint. Getting more of a texture. So you can see it's start to, starting to form some kind of cool texture. And then you're getting paint back in here. Look at that. Because I had paint really kind of on the paper towel here. You can go actually take the paper towel, tap it in there and start to play with moving that around too. And you can create a texture like that. See, the Prussian blue. So many different ways to make texture. Okay, I'm going to start to play with a flat wash brush that's smaller. This is ultramarine blue, which I need more of this color. I really wanted some more ultramarine blue. Deep. Loosening that up. So now I'm making some marks, seeing more energy, which I couldn't do when it was super wet. And now I can grab some darker color here and do the same thing. You feel that energy, me just moving my arm like this and just, it's a little thicker paint and you see all those scraping marks, they're kind of wild. It looks like uh, graffiti in a way. And you can kind of loosen that up a little bit more. This is the cobalt. I know, it's kind of crazy wild, right? <laughs> That's the whole fun. Let's get some crazy wild paint up here. Okay, there's a reason why I'm just kind of like constantly putting it in and taking it. I don't know, I have a plan in my brain. Now I'm going to remove some of it brush okay so I do want to loosen this up and I'll use this paper towel again you can kind of go like this too you don't have to just tap it you can kind of really scrape it this way get that nice movement texture all right, I'm leaving it kind of dark in the middle for a reason. It's still a little damp. So I want to do some lifting, which we talked about many times. Lifting the paint. Grabbing my paper towel now. I'm going to put some of the paint over here. So you want a brush that's a little sturdy to lift the paint, and it's like this lifting, grabbing the paper towel. I'm going to grab a brush. Put this paint over here. Um, I was going to use a flat brush. So I'm going to make like a sailboat. So you know you seal, like a triangle. And I'm gonna have to grab some water. So you kinda of start to lift it. See, there's the sail mast. And now I'm gonna lift. See? Think of a triangle like a sailboat. You can kind of like outline it. Let's kind of lift it up. See what we get. It's a little too small. Get a bigger one. It's still very damp, so you can do this. And it's not going to be lifted completely, but you're going to get that essence of a sail. And keep tapping back on the paper towel. And you can get a little bit sharper with the white, see? Removing it and leaving some of it in there. You see that? this part also lifting that and it's just a slow kind of lifting technique and now I'll go for the 
bottom of the sailboat. Isn't that cool? <laughs> These are the things. It's a really fun technique to play around with. I did this with the sunflowers and some of the other ones. Now that's just one little sailboat. Let's do a few of them. It's fun to play with techniques like lifting and any size paper, but I did a really large size paper. Maybe do a little bigger sailboat up here. I think my bottom of my sailboat is a little funky. Kind of like a little more realistic. On this one. Isn't that cool? This one I'll have to fix also. You didn't think you can lift the sailboats, but you can. You're just lifting the color. So it's just the mass, which is just a line going down. And then you're kind of doing this like curved triangle. And some of the paint's kind of folding back into it and it looks kind of purplish over here. And then you can kind of move your brush by lifting up that paint. And you get the sailboat and you can kind of connect. Look at that line going down. Isn't this fun? <laughs> we can go and do some waves and stuff. We can add some more. See if we move some of the paint. So I think two is not enough. We're going to do three. Of course. This is a very abstract sailboat. So I had some water and I go back and I tap it. See, I put some water on my brush so I can kind of lift this color. And it's getting this wet and lifting it. I don't want to use a paper towel. I want to use the brush. And why I want to use the brush so I can get some variations in color tone. Paper towel is just going to remove the whole paint. It's going to be all white, white. That's not what I want. That's not the goal here. It's to have this really kind of atmospheric kind of really a multicolored facet of a cell. Seems very so similar to my last one, right? And then you put a little one in the background. So it could be like a sailing race. Little teeny one lifting that little guy way in the background. And it's just lifting and tapping back on the paper towel. Isn't that cool? <laughs> I find this fun. You didn't think how fun this would be. I always like to do odds, so I'm not going to just have four. I'm going to have five. I'm going to put another one back here. And this one's kind of really dry, so we'll see how this one goes. I put the water there. Maybe it will start to lift now. There you go. You put the water down if it's dry. It's not going to be super dry yet. But it's going to be somewhat dry. So you put some water down and then you can kind of just lift the paint. So you see me, I'm put a, put a little water down. I'm going back and back and forth tapping. Look at that. This probably took us zero time, right? I just moved paint around and I just lift up the shapes. Now you could kind of do this with anything besides sailboats. You could do this with a shell. I could have done this whole technique with shells, coral, put a little mast here, mine, but I just find this so sweet and fun to do. This one, barely see that line, lifting a little more paint. Is that not really sweet and cool? And then you could go back and um, you could See if I want to lift some more paint. Make it lighter. I might grab the paper towel at this point. Get some of this. Right? And if I want to put more, I'm going to grab some ultimate blue, some other colors, back into the ocean. 
because we did a lifting. Now we can go kind of add that ocean back in because they look like they're kind of floating a little bit. And we don't want them to float. We want them to actually look like they're on water. So I'm adding in some more paint. Even a little darker, I'm going to grab some indigo. It's just a fun technique to play with. I love to lift the paint. It's one of my favorite things. And you got all this white and like this like energy back here. See like all the strokes. Again, it's not gotten dark enough. I feel like it needs to get darker in here. It's not dark enough. There. Especially back here. You can lift up some seagulls. And maybe it's just the camera lighting, but still doesn't look dark enough to me. So I'm adding in some more indigo. Look at that. Just super fun. I kind of like lift some more paint. Like I said, I'm going to move this water around and I can grab my paper towel. Let's see what I don't want to do too much of this because you can wreck the paper, but you can play around with it a little bit. And again, you can lift up like maybe some white caps. I know I put the color down, but now you can lift some of it. So wiggle, wiggle. All that good stuff. It's really, it's taking zero time. It's the time is just have fun lifting it. Right? A little teeny white. It's still super damp, so it's not lifting the way I want it to. Some of it is. Here we go. It's hard to see the white if it's like a lighter color. But now you can see it. Now it looks like it's ripples in the ocean. Right? And there's a little dark color back here. Maybe I want to remove some of that. Let's see. Do I like that? So I'm really liking this. I like this white white part here. A lot of energy. If I want to kind of like get that energy happening here. Again, I want to be conscious of not making it so crazy wet. But I think I achieved pretty much what I was looking for. Maybe not. I want to fix this part. It's just kind of like fading off in the distance. Yeah. You know the sailboats, but they're kind of fading. And these ones are closer so you can see them more. And that's the intention. Ooh. There you go. That didn't take much time at all. You can play around with how much you're going to lift up. You can play around with the color variations. I mean, it doesn't all have to be blue if you want to wait till it dries and go back in and add some like really bright tones, like an orange or a yellow stripe or something just a little touch of that it's up to you or you can keep it in the monochromatic lovely blues which i find fun yeah this one doesn't want to lift up anymore it says i'm done <laughs> just a little bit of mess there you can only do so much right before it's dry that's kind of it I mean, that's a simple technique. Again, just washing in the paint and then removing it. And no, it seems kind of intuitive, but it's a lot of fun and it adds a lot of variation to this kind of abstract ocean scene. So let me know how it came out for you if you enjoyed this. Try different colorways too. It doesn't all have to be blue. You can try just doing the whole thing in multicolors and then lift it and see what, what comes out. I mean, I'd be curious to see how it comes out for you. Um, you can always post it on like Instagram and tag me. If you're a Patreon member, you can put it on the Facebook group. 
but have fun with it. This is a real fun technique that I love and I would hope you love too. So if you have any questions, leave in the comment section. Please don't forget to hit the bell notification button to know when my tutorial is up. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe so we can have a lot of fun painting together. Take care and I'll speak to you soon.